Hey everyone, my floodlight in the garage is stop working. Let's check it out. The bulb is easily broken. Let's remove the bulb and check. Disconnect the mains, loose the nut on the front cover and push the bulb to any side to remove it. Set the multimeter to beep on short circuit. Shut the two probes to make sure you hear the beep which indicates the meter is working. Connect the probes to the bulb. No beep indicates the bulb circuit is open, which means broken. When looking closely to the bulb, you can see the internal circuit metal string is broken in the middle, the bulb is definitely broken. Label shows the light use R7S bulb up to 150 watt. I like to take the chance to upgrade the halogen bulb to LED to save power. After a few research, I order the Osram 8 watt bulb, which is equivalent to 70 watt halogen bulb. The LED bulb is bigger than expected, but the exactly the same length as the older one, so it should fit. Install the new bulb is as easy as remove the old one. Push the bulb aside and slide in. Make sure the bulb is full fitted on both sides. Put the cover back and test. The fix and upgrade part is now finished. If the light is still not working, I'm going to show you how to check the PIR circuit. Open the back cover. Set the multimeter to AC voltage. Now we can measure the input. So this from left to right is 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 and 4 are the input. So we can measure the input voltage. It's 233, which is normal. Now let's measure the output. So the output is pin 1 and pin 2. So this is not active. So let's make it active. So let's measure the output, so pin 1 and pin 2, which is 233 volt as well. So that shows the control circuit is working.